very good morning to all my name is navin chilamkutti i am the head of the cyber security discipline a warm welcome to you all for the open day 2020 and today i'm going to discuss about various courses available in cyber security so as you can see cyber security is a, a field where a lot of things can happen uh, it starts from cyber crimes cyber war cyber terror so what is this cyber security it actually involves systems connected to the internet so all we know there are people and especially in the last 10 years a, a the number of people using internet has grown exponentially it's multiplied by factor 10 and so so and so forth uh, the number of people using the internet around the world has almost uh, you know many times increased many times so which means there is a, a real big cyber threat and this is where the hackers and uh, ransomware people trying to exploit some vulnerabilities in the security of the system so especially with with respect to the internet uh, because people use internet is very old now it's 30 35 years my 40 years it started uh, and when it started 40 years ago it's not built for Uh, a, a, at all for any other um, purpose nowadays we are using this internet for everything almost everything financial transactions buying things using your card and everything else so that's where the complexity comes into picture cyber security wise in the last let's say 5 years too uh, you can see the exponential growth in the sector everyone is not Uh, uh, sort of aware uh, they are aware now what is cyber security is uh, and they know there is a problem there uh, and obviously the problem is security so the cyber crimes use this sort of gaps or loopholes to to exploit uh, things especially with respect to banking your details uh, because you have a lot of social um, you know um, sites websites a uh, lot of uh, things you actually share on the internet Uh, so everything combines together and this is where they use this data to exploit uh, from the uh, you know the users in in the recent report our partner cisco actually estimate that there are 3.5 million unfilled uh, cyber security jobs around the world by 2021 which is just next year and as far as i know not even half of them are actually filled this year so there is a, a, a big gap uh, of cyber security professionals and what is that meant for you basically more opportunities for you, for the cyber graduates and even our own australian computer society has done a survey and they found out that there are 11000 additional cyber security workers needed for the uh, for australia in australia for the next decade and not only that the australian federal government actually invested about 1.5 billion dollars into cyber security skills and jobs for and and they promised a lot of jobs for the defense also and uh, various other organizations so it's a big market and w- highly highly s- skill shortage we can see the left side the threats number of threats are increasing but to stop these threats there are very few professionals let me tell you cyber security is different from it because cyber security means it combines a psychological it business and law skills it's not just a it person sitting in the front of the computer and trying to stop the uh, cyber attack it takes a lot more than that you have to think like a hacker you have to understand why they are hacking you have to analyze you have to know how to track them how to prosecute them that's cyber law so business you had to analyze them so there are a lot of other skills involved that's why even cyber security professionals are paid a lot more than a it professional so this is a big gap we are talking about 2017 here but as i said before 3.5 million uh, you know jobs shortage uh, in 2021 so it's a huge opportunity for anyone and the good thing is there is no requirement you don't have to have maths as a prerequisite uh, the specialist one so all the requirement is basically very common for any deg- for any other bachelor's degree so it's very very much uh, basic 
So, we teach you how to starting from the first year, we teach you into uh, you know how to become a cyber professional. So, you can see there are a lot of investment uh, you know uh, from the government and you can see the number of our ICT graduates uh, required which includes uh, cyber security also has grown up and there is a 2.3 percent growth for the next 5 years and you can see the, the uh, again it comes back to the opportunities and the growth is really high. Uh, the cyber security workers if you see this uh, there is a 13 percent growth in from 2015 to 2018 and the new data also suggests that the growth is really high. Uh, the number of cyber security workers uh, means you know the, the, uh, the, uh, the graduates are coming up and and uh, filling this gap, but again the gap is really high uh, you know um, not even half. So, there is a big opportunity here uh, for graduates. You can become anything like starting from a cyber intelligence, you can be a cyber security consultant, uh, so many. Uh, all my uh, some of my students work for uh, banks, some of my students work for uh, you know uh, the government departments, defense and various other departments. Uh, some uh, some work for agriculture, um, you know, where uh, department of agriculture, where they actually look into various records, which are secure records. So there, are why uh, why you want to do a Latrobe, cyber security at Latrobe? Basically, we have four degrees: Bachelor of Cyber Security and three double degrees. Very popular double degrees, and as you can see, you can make uh, you can combine two degrees: cyber security criminology psychological sciences and commerce with your cyber security degree. It is very uh, highly sorted uh, skills combination. So, basically you will be doing two degrees combined together in four years. Uh, the employees like this double degree because they have double skills compared to a bachelor of cyber security student. So, this is a multidisciplinary and again the biggest uh, advantage is here at Latrobe we took that uh, multidisciplinary approach. So, you are not just IT sitting in the front of the computer and trying to find out the attack, you will be having a lot of other skills also business skills, uh, IT, a law and also a, uh, bus uh, a, a psychological uh, you know um, uh, angle. So, this is a mix of this so that is why we have students you know um, graduating this year. So, other thing is most of our subjects from starting from first year some of them even taught by the industry. The industry person will come here uh, teach the subject because they are really interested to get the graduates coming into uh, in their workforce uh, and many of them there are sp sponsors uh, also many of them they come and talk to us they make sure that uh, you know we have a good graduates coming out of the cyber security field and in the third year especially uh, you know uh, the final year of the cyber security. Every student will go through some industry based projects. There are projects given by the industry where they actually we give it to the as a students. You can see the entry requirements very basic uh, very uh, this one and you do not need any special skills to join uh, cyber security. Thank you very much and if you have any questions please do not hesitate to talk to us uh, email me or email to the you know then uh, the email address given and we are happy to answer your questions anytime. Take care and thank you very much.